Oh yeah! Get ready, get ready, get ready! For muscle moment, Bahamas. How well do you know your bodybuilding history? Who is the gentleman in this picture? Or who are these lovely ladies? Do you know? We the present and future generations need to know who paved the way in bodybuilding and fitness. Who were the trailblazers? Who fought for the privileges many bodybuilding and fitness athletes enjoy today? Today begins segment one on a series of bodybuilding and fitness legends in the Bahamas. Stay tuned. Born on the 29th of September, 1926, on the beautiful island of New Providence, to the late Rosa Loretta Blanche Burroughs and Alan Burroughs Charles Smith was the Bahamas' own first Mr. Bahamas bodybuilding champion. And he is none other than Mr. Cyril Eugene Smith. Although Smith was born in the province, he spent his early years in Long Island, Bahamas. His early education began at the Deadman's Key Public School located in Deadman's Key, Long Island, Bahamas. In 1985, he met the love of his life, Marjorie. And later, in 1993, they were joined in holy matrimony. From here and onward, Smith led a very eventful life. After he left school, he enlisted in the Army Reserve. Shortly after this, he returned to Long Island to serve as the physical education teacher at the Western Junior school. After this, he enrolled into the Royal Bahamas Police Force, where he served for 12 years as a corporal assigned to the fire department and the K-9 unit. Aha! It was here that Cyril Smith developed a passion for weightlifting. He unofficially started his first gym under the Sapodilla tree in his backyard, then officially opened his first gym on Fritz Lane and then another on Boyd Road. Cyril Smith is easily crafted as one of the greatest sports figures in the history of the Bahamas, as he was a part of that group that gave birth to the Bahamas' Bodybuilding Association in 1950. Mr. Cyril Eugene Smith, his name is etched in bodybuilding history as he is the first to hold the Mr. Bahamas title at the inaugural Bahamian Bodybuilding Show held at the Zanzibar Hotel in 1950. Not only was Smith the first winner of the Mr. Bahamas title in bodybuilding, but he was also crowned winner of the heaviest lift of the night as he capped at 300 pounds. And guess what? Smith was equally synonymous with boxing. Not as a competitor, but as a referee. Cyril Smith was regarded as one of the ring's finest officials. Because of his excellent work ethic and general ring demeanor, representatives of boxing 
Boxers coming in for matches were totally comfortable with Smith. He treated both boxers equally, thinking only of the job at hand with the sentiments of the home crowd blocked out. This reputation carried him to be a significant part of boxing for almost 40 years. And as I said before, he was regarded as one of the ring's finest officials. Smith's life career found him with many more titles after this, such as manager of the fire and safety pest control at Atlantis Resort International, to later owning his own business called Smith's Pest Control and Safety Services, just to name a few. These gentlemen, Mr. Cyril Smith, Mr. Hubert Wong, Kelvin Poitier, first, second, and third, respectively, at the first Bahamian bodybuilding show in 1950, paved the way for bodybuilding in the Bahamas. We thank these gentlemen for being the first to place bodybuilding and powerlifting on the Bahamian palette. In the back row, from left to right, we have Mr. Theophilus Delancey, Mr. Spurgeon Bethel, and Mr. Oslin Fisher. So here, here now, is what is most significant. Mr. Spurgeon Bethel, founder of the then All Fighters Boxing Club, was the one to purchase the first set of barbells that these same first bodybuilding competitors trained with. And yes, you can see where the connection and interest in boxing came into play for Mr. Cyril Smith. All of these competitors had joined the All Fighters Boxing Club. And also, all of these competitors competed in the first ever Bahamas bodybuilding show. Thank you, Mr. Smith for all that you have contributed to the sport of bodybuilding and boxing. We truly appreciate you. That's all for today for Muscle Moments for Hearts. Join us again as we feature the greats in bodybuilding and fitness in the Bahamas. Click subscribe if you are a fan of bodybuilding and fitness. Click like if you appreciate content like this. Comment below if there's anything you wish to see featured on Muscle Moments Bahamas.